Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Mathematics with Marlene. Today's video was a requested video about dividing with a three digit divisor. I'm only going to do one example and this is going to be a very short video because I already have a few videos covering long division. But if you would like to practice dividing with a three digit divisor, you can just head on to the description box below and download the worksheet with a memo to go and practice dividing with a three digit divisor. But before we get started, just a quick recap of the terminology we will be using in this video. First, the number we will be dividing is called the dividend. The number we will be dividing with is called the divisor. And the answer is called the quotient. So let's have a look at this exact example. But before getting the solution for this problem using long division, we first need to set it up in the correct way. So the first thing you need is your long division bracket. Your dividend goes underneath the bracket, your divisor goes in front of the bracket, and your answer will always go on top of the bracket. And then when we are doing long division, there's four steps you're going to follow over and over again until you have the solution, until you have the quotient. So the first step is how many times. The second step is multiply. The third step is subtract. And the fourth step is bring down. And remember, when you're doing long division, you always start at the left and you work your way to the right. So now I will take away the answer and we'll do this example together. So the first step, how many times? Does 125 go into 4? You cannot take 125 out of 4. So above the 4, I'm just going to put a dot just to make sure that the space above the 4 is left open. And now I'm going to include the next digit, the 2. So now I ask myself again, how many times does 125 go into 42? Still, you cannot take 125 out of 42, so I'm going to put another dot there. And now I include the next digit. How many times can 125 go into 425? And now we have an answer for that. We can take 125 out of 425. And how many times can we take 125 out of 425? Three times. And now we move on to the next step, multiply. And 3 times 125 is 375. Our next step is subtract 425 minus 375 is 50. And our last step is bring down. And we have that 0 we can bring down. So we bring down the next digit. And now we start with our steps over again. So the first step, how many times does 125 now go into 500? And 125 can go into 500 how many times? Four times. Now we multiply. Four times 125 is 500. We subtract. 500 minus 500 is zero and we bring the next digit down, but there's not another digit to bring down. We end it with a zero, so there's no remainder. So our answer is 34. So this was just a quick example of dividing by a three digit divisor. If you want to go and practice this some more, especially to go and practice when it doesn't end exactly with a zero, but with a remainder, just go to the description box below and you can download the worksheet with a memo and you can go and practice dividing by a three digit divisor. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.